Good morning. <clears throat> so we're going to do the second half of January 2020. Hopefully I can make these brief, but there's just been so many shifts that I just think it's important. We do a little bit of an update. Okay. So I'm going to throw a moon card at the bottom of the reading, at the end of the reading, because I love how sometimes they give additional messages, especially if I'm not seeing something, especially if something's underlined as well, okay? So, all right, Taurus, Presta, second half of January 2020, Taurus. Page of Swords. Does deliver truth, sometimes delivers a message, definitely wants to communicate. It's also known as like the stalker card. Could be studying something. You got the Queen of Hearts. Sorry, Queen of Cups. Abundant. You might be putting a little weight on. Um, it is Venus, right? Venus is here. Rules Venus, right? You are in... This is Cancer energy. Um, loving energy. Someone could be watching you. You're just loving yourself. Or you're watching what you eat. This card does talk about, you know, weight, but... It's, it's also abundance and it could be indulging. But this really, you know, she speaks of love. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Someone could be watching you, you watching them, vice versa. You could be speaking with a cancer sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. Kind of like someone's really like playing their hand very carefully here. You could see someone out of the blue that you haven't seen in a while. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. It's weird. It's telling me to hold the deck this way. I don't ever shuffle this way. So let's just see. Let's just see. <clears throat> no. I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that was about. One more for Taurus, please. Tell me a story. One more for Taurus, please. Normally when that happens, it's, it's like pick up on something. Um, I think somebody around you is, is literally just how do I play my hands right when it comes to this individual energy. I mean, the first card out was the Watcher, okay? Um, so you're either in, in air energy right now or cancer energy, but I feel like you're in cancer energy. I feel like somebody is watching you, trying to figure out how to communicate with you. Last half of January 2020. Sorry, I forgot to shut the window off, guys. There we go. Four cups. So 
I definitely feel like you know there's somebody watching you. You're curious. You do have the sun at the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you're dealing with a Leo or not, but this is when an offer comes around. But I feel like I don't feel like you ever turned your back towards an offer. You've always known it was there or coming back around. So you could have offered something in the past and at some point somebody didn't take it. But you feel the energy coming towards you. Tell me about the jack of spades. Tell me about the Jack of Spades, which is the Prince of Swords, guys. Who's the Jack of Spades? What's he up to? Unless this is you watching and waiting, but I don't I don't feel like it's like that. Because you're pretty content, focused on you. You're looking in the present moment. I don't see you dwelling. To me, this is, I feel it, I know it. You're intuitive. And it's ironic, this is about love. You know, Venus does rule love, partnerships, beauty. Someone could be memorized by you right now, not know how to get to you, not know what to say to you. They could be a little intimidated. I don't really think intimidated. I think it'd be more worry. Tell me about this. Page of Swords, please. Wow, it's really thinking. Page of Swords, please. So you got the Seven of Diamonds, which is Pence. So they're they're just thinking about how to how to do this do I invest do I not invest so this is somebody definitely it's almost like psychoanalyzing it almost reminds me of um oh I forgot I had that it almost reminds me of um not hmm Kind of reminds me of Neptunian energy, and we are being ruled by it right now, but they're either watching your progress, they're really considering in investing time into you. Um, they could already be in some type of investment, but I, I think they're more focused on you, considering this like this offers here. I mean, this could actually be somebody coming at you talking about some type of investment and, and giving you some type of offer. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Um, you're in love with the idea or you're in love with this person. Queen of Cups, please. Very, very um, particular with you guys. With what cards they want to give me bottom of my left hand is burning it doesn't have anything to do with these cards but it's it's like itchy what do they say about itchy palms I forget but if you know you know comment this could be you itching like itching for something like you got like you need some type of fix Tell me about this Queen of Cups, please. Two of Cups wanted to pop out. I grabbed it. Look at the colors mesh there. I just realized it's reversed. You don't really read these cards reversed. It's also temperance, okay? So it's we knew it was all about love. And so this is some type of partnership for sure. 
you got the yeah this is this is communication coming at you um, this someone wants to talk to you about a commitment um, Wow why did I say that oh well, I'm guessing the seven of pence so you definitely tell me about the four of cups what is this offer this could be you just curious, but I really think it's the other way around. Okay, so I got the ten of, ten of pens here, which is fantastic. It definitely has to do with some type of commitment. Um, there's also some type of legacy here. They could be wondering about work, relocation, moving in together, what would it be like. This is somebody who definitely, once again, kind of looking at you as an investment. It, please don't take that personally. It, it's This is a, a sharpshooter. They want to play their cards, right? You know, um, I don't know what sign you're dealing with. It, it, we got them all out here, right? So... You definitely have this one coming at you to communicate. I don't think it's just thoughts. Um, I didn't really want to clarify like that because I just did, but we didn't get much information on this particular energy. So let me just clarify that one energy. It's definitely somebody who wants a new start with everything I'm seeing. Tell me about this Jack of Swords. Page of Swords. What is this Page of Swords doing here? What do they want to talk about? Oh, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me you're thinking of me. Yeah, they're definitely thinking of, of you. Okay. This is like a please forgive me too. If there was confusion, they're coming out of confusion. So this looks like you're going to be talking to this person. extremely um, invested in you right now Taurus whoa Taurus please last half of January 2020 Taurus you ask me if you're feminine you're already in love with this energy Okay, so wishing on a star with my book. We got denial, and I was looking right at her. So this is either you or him, but nothing is out of your reach, my child. Sometimes you gotta create distance between what you want or when it is you're meant to actually receive it. Consider your wait for the highest good. You're not meant to achieve what you want right now. Keep the faith. For if you wait and show patience, I will reveal some wondrous things later. This is a gentle warning not to get caught up in desire and reach your goal too soon. You may choose sour fruit that only looks ripe and juicy in this case. I know I know when the time is right. Patience, my child. Mm -hmm. So, one more for Taurus. This is basically saying... When something comes in, do not do not rush the situation, okay? Um, I think the queen is in denial when it comes to something. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's very underlined, but you got risk. My child, you come to a place where you're being asked to take a risk and try something new. Rather than worry about how things will turn out, why not take a leap of faith? No matter what happens, something to important you will experience this is a sign that you will prove something to yourself when you accomplish it you'll be proud you did another meaning here is to ask yourself your next action is it worth taking the risk if the answer is no then don't do it if yes i will give you rings to fly and catch it and i will catch you if you fall this symbol also brings a gentle warning your wish could not be motivated by boredom this is a symbol of consequences as well as courage so there is some type of risk. This is either for you or the other person. Do I think there's a little denial right now? I, I don't. I think it's just, I think this, well, I think it's linked to the queen for some reason. Okay. Um, they definitely want to invest. They're definitely attracted to you. 
there is some type of offer. There is love here. There is a connection. It does look like there's something very long term here. But because you're hesitating, or vice versa, right? But if this is you hesitating, don't don't say yes to somebody because you're bored and you just want something new. Because obviously, clearly, there's feelings. I'm going to clarify denial and see what type of energy we got, if it's masculine or feminine. Because I don't see nothing about denial. Sometimes the seven of pence does, does talk about weight. But there the doesn't look like any denial here. So I, I feel like it's either in your thoughts or their thoughts. Yeah, see, queen of swords. So that's it is the feminine energy. So at some point, somewhere, somehow, like, I don't know if this person pissed you off because it's almost like, yeah, it's cold energy. See how it's like so uncovered? It's like underlined. I don't even think you're aware of it. You will be. Or they're in denial about you. I don't I don't see it like that at all. Tell me about risk. But I mean, it could be. Absolutely. Tell me about risk. I did just see the magician try to pull up. Got the seven of swords reversed. So when it's reversed, it's it, it is someone you know from your past too. And at one point there was deception, sabotage. There there definitely was something. When this card comes out now, I kind of look at it as, well, not in this case. It's not a surprise. This is something that was definitely over. Yeah, see, there was an offer in between that wasn't taken. But it does look like it's coming back around, and when it does, it looks serious. So be careful. This could actually be another energy of, of, of not even you, but not even them. This could be exterior. She could actually become a problem. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. I don't know where that came from. And I wanted to make these brief. <laughs> Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords. Who is she? Nine of Swords, anxiety, but it's reversed. And now you got the Queen of Pence too. See, like I don't, I don't know who she is, troops. I don't know who she is. That's a little off. Hold on. This is exterior to you. And there had to have been a third party or a home life. There, there was something. So This looks like somebody's leaving somebody and coming towards you. They're going to take a risk. She's going to be a little bit of a problem. She doesn't want to let go. Okay, so I have to see what, what February takes us. This looks like somebody's moving towards you, but the energy of the past is like their baggage. Okay, so just be aware that she she might be a little bit of a problem. It is I don't see it stopping this by any means at all. Okay, additional messages for Taurus. You, 
you got the queen of chalices and the five of chalices. Yeah, so it's <laughs> this is not. <sighs> I think you're just wondering how you're going to handle this. And and if there's anything petty that you're holding on to, like I said, because I'm telling you, there's something about that Taurus energy too that was linked to denial. I, I think it's like your hopes are down or something. Tell me about this five of chalices. reversed you you put the weight down if somebody comes back I don't know if it's like you love them but like you're questioning it so I think when the energy comes back this is heavy it's also saying you know, could be, you know, just best advice. Put put the damn weight down. Don't don't dwell on the fact that there's other energy around like that that could be weighing stuff down. You know, focus on you. Focus on love. Tell me about the queen. Yeah, see, move forward. It, it's not saying move forward away from this person. It's it's with the devil reverse. Let go of of the past. Wow, you guys are in wicked strong cancer energy. You want to know what it is? It's it's all about your home foundation, right? You, you want that type of foundation. You want the happy family. You want the picket fence. Now it doesn't have to be so cliche and, and like that, right? But it's it's important to you. So this this energy of whether it's fire coming at you or air, could even be earth, right? It it is saying to move forward in a loving manner. And and let go of whatever went down between you two. Obviously, things need to be addressed, but it's nothing to dwell on. I, I think you're just a little worried right now. I think you're worried about moving forward with this person. They might ask you to relocate with this energy. So I've got the Ten of Pence. I don't think I'm going to be saying I'm doing a, a quick reading. <laughs> With, with anything, okay? So, yes. Oh, man. Guys, Taurus, this is like, I feel like it's not even your energy. This is crazy. This isn't, this isn't your pain. So, uh, you guys are definitely, go watch Cancer when cancer's uploaded for sure guys i'm taurus and that it's like i'm 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 trying to like place myself to give you examples and i'm telling you like this is not my normal taurus energy it's just it's not so i think my taurus has got a strong cancer placement right now it's you it's just it's all about you know the house of home it's all about the fourth house right now family
So one family is, is falling apart because somebody is coming towards you guys. Someone's leaving a family to come towards you. And your best advice is, is to move forward and take a risk. No, that's the other person's advice to move forward and take a risk. And that Queen of Swords energy is the ex girlfriend or the ex wife, or vice versa. And her energy is, is going to be around you guys for a little while. Okay. So just do your best. I feel like right now. You're going to be talking to this other energy. And you guys are going to be happy. It's, it's going to be exciting. Okay, so... I'm going to pull you your best advice, not their advice. My Taurus that's coming in as Cancer Energy. Your best advice to do with this person who's returning. You got hope. When you choose a symbol of hope, know that no matter what, it's only a temporary setback and your light will return again. When hidden in the moon, and Cancer is ruled by the moon, right? The moon, hidden in the darkest forest, it's hard to see your next steps, but it's easy to give in to fear that you'll never see the light again. I am here to guide you when you felt like you lost your way, whispering for you to maintain faith, because good things are about to come once more. Take one step towards your dream, and I'll take two steps to help you achieve it. Have hope, and only good will come from it. So this is basically, like I said, move forward, definitely watch Cancer. Have hope when it comes to this person and you together. Not just hope that they're going to come back. That's not what this is. This person is coming back. And they're going to want, they're going to want to invest time in you. Have hope that things are going to work out between you and this person. Okay, so be careful because that's that's a lot of emotion and, and you're also dealing with Neptune and Venus and Pisces. Okay, but it also brings happiness to your life. But something is, is, is taking place here where chances are you're going to feel the energy of this other woman. The scenario. Only because it looks like a him will be in your life. And so that's basically telling me that the masculine has children or some type of family. Okay, so I don't think there's ever going to be really uh, anything detached except for love. That the household. They'll always have some type of love. They were together. They probably had children. They had a family life. So that person is not really going anywhere. Okay. That person will always be <clears throat> in that person's life. So definitely hang in there. Okay. All right, so much for quick. I'm at 30 minutes with you. I do want to clarify the seven of pence for you. Yeah, 
you know, you get the emperor and the sun. So right now the emperor is a little bent out of shape. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aries, but I, I saw that. Okay. There's so much potential for growth. You get the sun twice now. They are a little irritated. Okay. They are aggravated. Um, I don't know if something was so intense. It's like they felt pulled to you. I don't. I don't think it's that. I think they're just aggravated with their current circumstances. No, it's linked to you. They're aggravated with you. I don't know why they're aggravated with you. I think because you you laid the weight down. You you stopped dwelling. They, yeah, they're they're aggravated that you laid the weight down with them. You will be okay. I, I do feel like when you guys talk, it's 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 gonna be heavy. It's, it's, it's a given. I don't know what went down with you guys, but they're definitely aggravated with you. Why is the emperor aggravated? I think it's just because you put the weight down. It's like you stopped, yeah, see, you, you put the weight down. You stopped investing time into them. You stopped looking in their direction. You stopped communication. You, you know, so they'll get over that. I wouldn't I wouldn't worry about that. That's the least of your worries, okay? Um so just you guys are gonna get through all of that. And and, and you're gonna talk about it and you're gonna get through it. Just remember your advice. Continue to to have faith. Work on each other. Work on your future. Okay, just, just remain hopeful. Somebody might still be getting out of their home. I, I mean, it could be something like that too, right? So, that song just came to me. Give a little bit of your heart to me. So, show a little love. Give a little love. I, I, I didn't see any problem with, obviously there's not balance right now, okay? It's, it will be definitely coming in. It didn't even stress balance, so I, I think the two of you will be, will know how to ground it, okay? The energy is high. My computer's fully charged and it's like overheating, okay? And it only happens when the energy gets intense like that, so, and we didn't even see it, but I just called it, okay? So there is very intense energy between you and this person, but it can all be worked out, you know, um, there's just a lot to go through, especially if somebody just is leaving a family dynamic. It's, it's, it's that simple. All right. But, um, that song just came to me. Nothing in the life is free. So there's, which is basically telling me, you know, like there was a sacrifice made. So be, be gentle on each other. But definitely go in the right direction. All right. I love you guys. Hope that helped you. Bye.